Hello friends, welcome to Education for You channel. Today, I will be discussing about MCS 21 important questions. IGNOS MCS second semester course MCS 21 is of data and file structures. So, let us see what are the important questions pertaining to MCS 21. Before proceeding, I would request you to like this video if you really like our content and also don't forget to hit the bell icon after subscribing to our channel because we will be uploading many more videos on all IGNO MCA topics. So let's start. Now book 1 unit 1 that is analysis of algorithms. Let's see what are the important questions. First of all, you should know what are what is asymptotic analysis. Okay. In this one, you should know theta notation, big O notation, and omega notation. These are given on page number 9, 10, and 11 respectively. Second topic is complexity ladder you should know what is the complexity ladder how you can ascertain the complexity for example question may arise in the following fashion so you will be asked to order given functions in increasing or decreasing order here there are four options given n log n log n whole square 3 n square plus 7 n and 4 to the power of <coughs> sorry 4 to the power of n so you should know what is the complexity ladder then only you can arrange the given functions okay so next chapter is that is book 1 unit 2 arrays you should know what is sparse matrix okay page number 25 on page number 25 you can find the material next you should know how to represent matrix in three triple representation okay so sample question is displayed on your screen question will come like make a three triple representation of non-zero elements of the following 6 by 5 sparse matrix generally 3 tuple representation of matrix is related to sparse matrix only ok so if sparse matrix is not mentioned you assume that it is a sparse matrix only I hope you know what is sparse matrix sparse matrix is a matrix which have more zero elements than non-zero elements that is elements with value zero or more okay next book one unit three that is lists let us see what are the important questions first topic is array implementation of list okay you should know what is a list and how a list can be implemented using array similarly you should know how to implement list using linked list okay page number 34 38 you should read next important topic is doubly linked lists that is given on page number 44 i have displayed here two related questions sample questions question may come to write an algorithm to implement a circular array and explain the logic okay next question may come to write an algorithm for linked list to insert an element after a given element or and delete an element after searching it in the list so please go through these topics last one is you should know what is circularly linked list okay if you know what is a list 
and if you know one topic also just go through it you will easily uh, write the question answers in your examination next topic is stacks that is book 2 unit 4 okay now coming to stacks you should know what is a stack then only you will be able to write or implement the stack using arrays okay so on page number 5 you you can have a information about stack okay on page number 8 implementation of stack using arrays this concept is there also you should know how to implement stack using linked list okay so sample question i have given here question may come as write an algorithm to implement a stack through a linked list and delete an item from it okay so next chapter is all about queues that is book 2 unit 5 so you should know what is a queue because as a software engineer you should always know what is a stack what is queue okay what is heap okay what is a tree because these are all data structures and you should have strong grip on data structure subject so on page number 16 it is there okay so read what is queue on page number 16 similarly on page number 18 you will find array implementation of queue please go through it on page number 19 you will have linked list implementation of queue and similarly implementation of circular queue is given on page number 22 lastly you should also know implementation of double ended queue dq okay that is on page number 25 so go through all these topics okay these topics are not only important uh, exam per se but it is very important to know these topics when it comes to real time job interviews as a fresher okay when you pass out from igno and apply for any job in software industry they expect that you know something about queues arrays okay linked list so all these data structures you should be strong okay so example question is what is circular queue list any two applications of circular queue write algorithm to delete a given element from a circular queue so these are very important topics so next unit we will see what are the important questions that is book 2 unit 6 it is all about trees so you should know what is a tree it is given on page number 33 next topic is tree travels traversals you should know what are the three tree traversals and you should be able to derive these tree traversals okay so on page number 35 it is given okay so i have given two sample questions one is evaluate the post fix post fix expression of given expression okay next one is one bst that is binary search tree will be given and you have to write its pre order and post order okay so this is very important topic next you should know what are binary trees you will be able to find the information on page number 37 next chapter is that is book 3 unit 7 advanced trees so you should know what is binary search tree or bst it is given on page 5 of book 3 similarly you should know what are avl trees okay on page number 
एवियल ट्रीज टॉपिक इज देयर प्लीज गो थ्रू इट लास्ट टॉपिक इज बी ट्रीज On page number फोर्टीन you can find the information on bee trees. Please go through them. Okay? Here are some sample questions. How do you define balance of a सब tree? Okay? Construct an एवियल tree, height balance tree for the following sequences of input. Some input will be given. You have to construct an एवियल tree. Similarly. Next question is what is B tree? Explain the structure of B tree and write B tree search algorithm. So these kind of questions will be coming in your examination. Next chapter is that is book three unit eight. It is related to graphs. Okay. So you should know what is a graph. That is given on page number twenty. Next. one most important algorithm that is dijk strauss algorithm on page number 24 you should definitely know the concept of this algorithm because this is most frequently asked question okay next topic is minimum cost spanning tree okay There are two algorithms used to find out minimum cost spanning tree of given tree. Okay, one is Kruskal's algorithm and second one is Prim's algorithm. So you should know how to find minimum cost spanning tree using these two algorithms. Okay, after the video uh, in the description, I will um, paste links. for these two algorithms for which i have already prepared videos and uploaded okay so go through them if you are not sure about these algorithms they are very easy okay and you will get full marks next topic is bfs that is breadth first search algorithm okay and next topic is depth first search okay that is on page number 35 so question may come to explain depth first search with the help of algorithm also you will have to tell the time complexity of dfs okay similarly question may come wherein you will be given a graph okay and you have to derive single source shortest path okay from a vertex given vertex okay using dijk strauss single source shortest path algorithm similarly you will be given a graph and you will be asked to find the minimum cost spanning tree using any one of the kruskal's or prim's algorithm okay and here as, as you can see third question is about write an algorithm to implement a depth first search method also write the order of node sequences it will visit in the following graph using this technique okay so please go through this chapter it is very important chapter next chapter is that is book 3 unit 9 it is all about searching only one topic is there linear search go through page number 40 okay question may arise like write linear or sequential search algorithm and calculate time and space complexity of it next book 4 unit 10 that is sorting it is also very important chapter you should know what is actually i have written only two types of sorting here okay but you should know all four types of sorting okay so important topics are bubble sort that is on page number 6 and heap sort that is on page number 9 question may come like explain bubble sort or heap sort in uh, short okay or as you can see on the screen what is a min heap 
build a min heap of the following sequences using top down approach international forward international you should be able to build a min heap okay next chapter is book 4 unit 11 that is advanced data structures in this one splay trees is a very important topic please go through page number 15 Next topic is also very important topic that is red black trees okay you should know what is a splay tree and what is a red black tree okay question may come like what are the properties of a rbt explain the process of inserting a node into rbt through an example next question may come like what is splay tree how it is different from a tree okay next unit is book 4 unit 12 that is file structures this is the last unit of your igno mcs 21 it is all about file structures so in this on page number 32 there is a brief about file organization please go through it on page number 35 you will find division reminder hashing okay and on page number 35 that is on the same page you will find indexed sequential file organization these topics are very important question may come as what is the need of the file organization explain division reminder hashing with the help of an example next question may be coming like explain the following terms indexed sequential file okay so please go through all these topics okay if you miss out few topics if you don't understand few topics it is okay but try to read as much as many as topics as possible okay for scoring good marks please draw pictures wherever possible okay so all the best guys if you have liked this video please like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we will be uploading many many more videos okay and we will try to include all explanatory videos of all topics okay not only on second semester but it will be useful for your next semesters also okay after exams also please visit our channel and see if you can find next semester's videos because right away after the exams you should be able to prepare for next semester that should be your aim so that you can excel in your studies and also in your real life so also don't forget to hit on the bell icon because whenever we upload a notification you will get straight away notification okay